Hi, this is Rob from 1S Gaming, bringing you a product review of the Hyperkin Retro N5 Games console. Now, sold as a sort of all-in-one, we'll play all the old Mega Drive, SNES, NES, Game Boy, Game Boy Advance. Um, it looked a really, really good, good, good toy. Um, so I bit the bullet. I bought it. I ordered it. It turned up today. I've plugged it in, and really disappointed um, it is so plasticky it's unreal um, with a sort of price tag around I think it was around 120 130 pounds um, really expected it not to look like a five pound sort of cheap console um, the make on it is is, is, is pretty poor um, the controller design itself is 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 terrible um, I played it for, I don't know, half an hour, 40 minutes before I had to sort of put the controller down and rest my hand, um, just where it cuts in um, and chafes along it. The gameplay with it is just like playing the old games, you know, the, it, it looks, it sounds, it acts perfectly fine. The issue I had with the controller was I'm having to go in and although it's got preset button configuration for the different consoles it just no it don't work so you end up going in having to change all the buttons yourself before you can play the game to get it set I'm really really unimpressed with it I think it was a terrible you know it's been just been done terribly um, the, the control design is shocking I mean every controller you look at nowadays you know they're smooth, they're rounded, they they fit into your hand. They're they're comfortable to hold for long durations of time. Where the the, the retro M5 controller is so square, um, just poorly thought through. Really, I mean I had huge issues with the Bluetooth in or the wireless on it for the controller pairing that up. So I think I'm going to end up investing in an original controller. Um, for each console and hopefully that will will let it work perfectly fine um, having the ports on the side to be able to stick in an original Super Nintendo controller or a Mega Drive controller but I think the price tag on it is is just too high um, a really good idea just with corners cut and no one could have done much product testing in my eyes for it to come out with a controller that is just unpleasant to play with so all in all I say it is fun playing the old games all having one console not having to have Super Nintendo a NES, a Mega Drive Game Boy, Game Boy Advance and all that just to play the games having one console that you can do it on um, is, is, is good it's just the final finish on on the whole product lets itself down very plasticky uncomfortable controllers I would only give it maybe a six six and a half out of ten at a push just for the lack of being able to play it for any long duration of time so yep that's it that's my review what you're watching now is just me mucking about on Sonic on it earlier on so you can see visually it's what you'd expect it to be so I hope you've enjoyed this, I hope this is informative and it's good. Please hit that like, subscribe button. If you want to see more product reviews and game reviews, just drop us a comment and let us know. So find us online at www.1sgaming.co.uk, on Twitter at 1sgaming and at 1sgamingextra. And we will see you next time. Thank you, bye bye.